the volume of a sphere is increasing at a rate of 20 cm cube per second find the rate of increase in surface area of the sphere when radius is 40 so a very tricky sum if you see the earlier sum that we saw in my video we had the surface area linking with radius so we had the formula surface area is equal to 4 pi r square you can also have the rate of change of volume with respect to radius but now this is the volume with respect to surface area so let's see how we do this so to begin with so let's collect the data first if you look at the data db by dt the rate of increase of volume has been given 20 centimeter cube per second ds by dt when radius is 40 is how much you know that volume is equal to 4.3 pi r cube so i'll find out dv by dr so dv by dr is equal to 4.3 pi is a constant derivative of r cube is 3 r square k and 3 can cancel out so 4 pi r square this is a rate of increase of volume therefore dr by dt so remember that uh, that's your dr by dt links that so from dv by dt we will find out dr by dt and using dr by dt we will find out ds by dt so you have to go through r basically so remember the r is the link yeah, so so you so we'll be finding that so dr by dt so that's your dr by dv into dv by dt as you see my other videos for chain rule you can see that this and this can cancel off so that means my formula is correct that's an indirect visual check of the formula so that's a chain rule formula so your dr by dt so dv by dr is 4 pi r square so dr by dv is reciprocal so 1 upon 4 pi r square dv by dt is 20 substitute that so 4 5s are 20 radius is 40 when the radius is 40 they have given that we substitute the radius is 40 40 square substitute 1605 so 1 over 325 reducing so we found out dr by dt now what will we do is we will use the formula that links the surface area with the radius so surface area is equal to 4 pi r square differentiate that ds by dr is equal to 4 pi is a constant the rate of r square is 2 r 8 pi r 8 pi you can substitute the value of r is 40 so that's 325 now we apply the chain rule formula ds by dt is equal to ds by dr into dr by dt applying the chain rule you can see that the dr and dr is happening but now we know both these values so you just substitute that so ds by dr is 325 from here and your dr by dt we found out earlier it's 1 over 3 to 1 325 cancels off so the answer is 1 centimeter square per second so it means that when the volume is increasing at 20 centimeter cube per second the surface area increases at a rate of 1 centimeter per square per second when radius is 40 